coming out of the first year of the pandemic in 2021, we've had an awesome year getting back into programming. We are so happy that we have over 100 volunteers that work within the community, within our Huguenot Beekeepers Association, focusing on honeybee education, our 4-H volunteers working with clubs, a large sum of Master Gardeners in our Goochland Powhatan Master Gardeners Association, and also Master Food Volunteers focusing on nutrition and health. Our Master Gardeners work within our demonstration gardens scattered across the county at the Fighting Creek Park, our native plant trail, and our pollinator garden, as well as our historic garden behind the courthouse, uh, giving tours and educational opportunities for youth groups and other community organizations. Um, they've also expanded their Speakers Bureau, reaching numerous different groups, but whether it be through Zoom, um, hosted also primarily by the library opportunities. This year I've worked extensively with the Agriculture and Forestal District program here in Powhatan, serving on the Outreach Committee for the Agriculture Forestal District Advisory Committee. And I've enjoyed being able to work with landowners here um, to focus on expanding our reach, so adding new properties to our existing nine AFDs, as well as outreach to new landowners to educate them about this wonderful opportunity to help keep Powhatan rural, protect our lands, and conserve um, environmentally sensitive areas. Our master food volunteers and master gardeners that serve in both positions have helped us with education in our demonstration garden behind our office, so raising vegetable crops and then helping with nutritional education at the free clinic here in Powhatan off Skaggs Road, reaching about 15 folks every month during our programs and donating over 260 pounds of produce. Our Beef Cattle Production 360 discussion group that meets about every month um, had had some struggles through the pandemic, but were able to thankfully start meeting back in person, um, which was really welcoming to be on the farm with each other, um, learning from other industry professionals as well as from each other through our experiences on our own farms. As an extension agent, we work both locally as well as regionally and across the state. On a state level this year, I've been working with a program team focusing on agribusiness management and economics. We're very excited about bringing a training to bring skills to more agents and specialists across the state to help tackle the issue of farm succession planning. This can entail asset transition as well as management transition, but oftentimes we forget about the hard components of family dynamics. I'm looking forward to bringing this training to Virginia because I've had numerous conversations with landowners relating to this issue of farm transition, land transition, and management transition. Alright ladies, what are y'all out here doing? We're judging cows. Dairy cows specifically. Baby's trying to, yeah. Baby's trying to eat my hair. Hi, I'm Kathy Howland. I am the 4-H Extension Agent in the Powhatan Extension Office. This year, we have had a great year considering the pandemic. The clubs have flourished. They actually didn't get started until April of this year. Through the 4-H program, youth will gain leadership, citizenship, and life skills to take with them throughout their adult years. Um, we do this through the 4-H clubs, after-school programs, and in-school programs as well as our 4-H camping program. One of our more popular programs after school was our Young Entrepreneurs Program. Uh, youth ages 9 to 15 joined together after school for about five weeks and learned everything about being an entrepreneur. Um, after the, in the classroom portion, they got the opportunity to visit the farmer's market once a month and we had a kids market. They were able to sell their services, their products, everything they've made 
throughout the year. Um, one young lady has actually opened an Etsy shop with her items and sells locally in a, one of our local shops. 4-H camp looked a little different this year with the pandemic. We were, we were, we could only take 50% capacity, but the kids had a great time. We joined forces with Goochland and Hanover, along with Powhatan, and took 90 campers with us for an overnight week-long experience. Along with the campers, more than 15 teen counselor volunteers and adults joined us at camp and we just had a great time. Through our 4-H clubs, the youth have gained so much this past year. It just was uh, refreshing for all of them to be able to get out and do some of the activities they've been accustomed to doing prior to the pandemic. They, um, we had 15 from the Powhatan 4-H Shooting Club attend the state shoot. They, uh, through this club, they've gained skills in fire safety, competition through archery, rifle, shotgun. We also had youth attend the state fair and show heifers. Uh, had a couple of reserve champions in their division as well this year. Also, through the state 4-H horse show, we had several youth attend and show horses. So that was an exciting opportunity as well. Besides the 4-H clubs and the after school programs, we also were able to offer the embryology program in the schools. Third graders at all three elementary schools participated in the embryology program through 4-H. We supplied um, fertile eggs and they used incubators to watch the embryos develop into um, chicks 21 days later. So that was another fun project that 4-H has been able to provide. Dairy judging is another great opportunity offered through 4-H in gaining public speaking and decision making. 